enjoy. Now, this is tied on a salad, but this is a new, and it's made by Partridge, but this is a new Patriot by them. It's a size smaller than this, uh, it's a size 8, it's a very strong, you can see a good strong wire hook, and uh, I'm sure it's going to be very popular. Now, the thread I'm going to be using, this is the Unithread 8O in Fire Orange. Now what we do is just start the thread to the eye, and come down to that point there. Now what I'm going to do here is going to tie in the oval gold tinsel at this point. Just holding it, the tail, in this case this is Arty Runner, in red. The length is up to yourself really, so you imagine the tail being over, so. And I'm putting this on tapered light, I'm not going to sort of level it up or anything, I'm just going to get the longer fibres there, so I'm using that as well. So you're looking at least twice the length of the hook, you want a nice tail, yeah, I'm actually just going to draw this in a wee bit further. Some even better. There we are. So we sit there. Again, we catch this on. And at the same time, we're going to add the flash in. What my intentions are here is to wind the tail. Basically, when I form the tag, the tail's going to come out from the centre of the tag. This is some flash. It's just a gold, claret, brown and blue. It's just a mix, an even mix, one sun, a single strand of each. Again, tie that one, but just slightly sh just towards or short of the, the end of the tail. Now what I'm going to do is trim this away. And then carry on down. All the way to the point, I'm just going to come slightly round. It's about there just slightly by the point of the hook. Then I'm going to form the tag basically doing about three to four turns. And then using, watch the tail, hold it, bring it between the hooks now. So you wind those turns down. Just make sure you pull this up through and under. And come and catch this in. At this point you can still move it around to get it to sit the way you want. And then basically like imagine that being a small head, so tying that off. Just come in and trim away. Then I'm going to wind, I've got a dyed orange golden peasant skin and I'm going to use the rump feather. Just take one of these out. This will highlight the tail, so we just remove the fluff, some of the fluff either side. You tie it in by the tip. Now if you're tying smaller flies you could use just a normal hackle or remove the fibres and then tie them top and bottom. So make sure you tie that in nice and tight. Fold these fibres back. Just the same way you'd form a, a shrimp tail. Just stroke the fibres. Towards the back of the hook, just watch. Always keep it as tight as you can. And basically bring your thread up beside the stem and put a 90 degree bend into it and really tight. Now at this point I'm going to work my way up, get my measure about halfway or so. Just there. Now save my fingers. Just gonna get my brush. And just brush these fibres through. Really should be because as you twist around they'll get caught into the points of the hook so that's where you can brush them back. Now I've taken this, say, the thread up halfway just to the point where I'm going to be tying in some hackles so then I'm catching in the oval tinsel again and then I'm going to work my way down all the way to the golden pheasant and then work my way back up. And use the tinsel for the body, so I'm doing one turn in front of the other. Make sure it starts right. Now what I'm doing here with my nails, I'm keeping the tinsel tight, making sure it's nice and neat and up against. 
Oh yeah, that's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's always good to be to be neat. Just keep going to the point where we're going to tie in these hackles. And you could use just tinsel if you want, it's up to yourself. Just normal flat tinsel and then rub it. Okay, and imagine that being a small head at that point, just then you'd be tying off. So there's your tail. And then your golden pheasant at the back, which is orange, and that will highlight the colour. Very shrimp like. Now I'm going to use two hackles in the middle. I'm using a sunburst and a hot orange and a warm orange. And these are just small cock hackles I've got, not ideal for this. I tie these in by the tip. Down two or three turns, fold it back. And I'm going to do them separate. You could tie them in both together if you want, but I want you separate them. Keep the thread tight, I can break away the tip of the hackle. Now, you could get two flies out of this, this hackle, because you only want to, say, basically highlight it. So, firstly, you've got to wind it on just to see how much you're going to get. And there's a couple of turns, is going to be the Ideal. Cross your thread, 90 degree bend into the stem. And then we take this down. Trim away the excess. Keep that as a see. You could get another, well, you could get another half a fly out of that or a smaller fly. I'm just folding back these fine fibers I've missed. Take it down. And then get my orange. Again, tying it in by the tip, exact same way. Probably about two turns in as well. So, come in two or three turns down, fold back the tip, come back up. Back down with the thread, keeping it tight. Remove the tip of the hackle. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to tidy up a wee bit here. The thread down, come back up. Just trying to balance the body. And then just fold your hackle back. Maybe you stub on hackle here. It wants to see. It wants to roll on you. Just you force it. Just get it to set. Sometimes if you wind it on and then come back, you'll find the second time you take it down, the better it sits. Meaning like if I do that, it's sitting not too bad, but if I let it go, you'll see it's it's actually it obviously folds itself back, but then you can have a better look at the feather. And then go back in and then do a better job. Come up against the thread, ninth degree bend into the stem. That locks it in, then we can work our way up. And come in here and trim away the excess. Carry on up. Nice and tight. Now, on the way back down, we're going to tie in some more of the oval tinsel. Now, the size of the tinsel I'm using here is a small. So make sure you give yourself plenty. You catch it underneath, and you can turn the hook upside down. Just catch the very end. Oops. Turn it around. Get to set the way you want. Thread all the way down to the hackle. Come back up. Always basically keep things reasonably tidy so the tinsel sits better. Straight turned right up, tight against. Now if it wants to come down a wee bit you can just come in, push it up with your nail, and then the next turn will hold it and you keep going. Basically that gets you started. Just think of the hackles you're putting in, jungle cock. So, got another two hackles to put in, plus the jungle cock, so make sure you give yourself plenty of room. I just moved there, I'll just come in. So it's slipping down, there's a wee step, so what you can actually do is put in a couple of more turns. 
And if you come back with that turn, that will stop it. There you go. Just make sure I've got some wax on my thread at this point. Make sure it's nice and tight. Yeah. Trim away the waste. Fly stand to build up the colour combination. There's quite a lot of colour in this fly. You can reduce it, you don't have to wind hackles, you can put basically you could put uh, hackle fibres top and bottom both of the colour to, to make it sort of reduce the bulk. But this is a good fly to just get an idea. Um, now I'm using some dyed red, golden pheasant now. And what this does, it highlights this orange, it just goes to the next stage. Basically blending colour. And this what makes a good fly. And then fold back the tip. Now obviously folding in the tip of the hackle. Good side is looking at myself, so it draws towards the back. Fold the hackle and do the you only get a couple of turns. And come in. Hold it nice and tight, tidy up. Let me break this off. Just making sure it's all the way around. See, how it's nice, it works into the fly. Now, we've got two jungle cock eyes. These are more as a wing, not as cheeks, so you tie them in like a wing length. I'm just going to set both, I tie both in at the same time, I'll find it easier. There's a length, just towards, I would say the tips are there at the barb. You could go less if you want. And that'll do it. Come in, come down. At this point I can still move things around. Get the length. See the jungle cock, there you go. And once you're happy, I'm going to do wax on my thread again. We fold these back. I've got plenty of room to do that. If you fold and tuck in the jungle cock, it'll never pull out. Obviously, it's got to break off. Keep the thread nice and tight, I can then break away the, the waste piece of the jungle cock. Front hackle is a claret. This is a claret cock hackle. Just to basically darken it down at the tip of the head. Again, cashing in with the tip. Good side of the feather facing myself, full back the tip for strength again. Break off that. And we've got wax on your thread. Puts it down a nice base of thread there. Which is waxed and then it gives your hackle a bit more grip. And then we can come in. Just put in a last or least turn, or no, two, three turns, whatever you like. Enough to get the colour. Hackle choice and number of turns comes down to quality of the feather. Come up against the stem of the hackle, 90 degree bend into it. And then we just wind through. Now we can fold this back. Make a nice head with the thread. Make sure everything's nice and tight. Break this off. If we can anyway. There we are. If you can break it off you get a neater, a neater cut. But you have to make sure your thread turns are tight. Come in a whip finish. And there we go. Trim away my thread. Now what we're going to do now is brighten the head up even more. Now I've got, this is the Glow Bright yarn, number four. You can see bright red, fluorescent red or Chinese red it's called. Now I'm just going to run the wax through it once, which it just basically holds the, the floss, stops it spreading. Start to add the eye. Start to wind up about halfway, trim away the waist. Tidy that turn, go in, 
and then basically come back down with the whip finish two or three turns nice and tight, pull it tight trim away the waste and there we are, now to set the, what you need to do to keep that nice bright colour is if you varnish it straight away, varnish it, what happens is it it dulls it down a wee bit, but if you use super glue first so if I'm going to come in with the super glue and what it does, that sets really quick and hard and it keeps everything nice and bright now that only takes two or three minutes for it to set I mean you can see how bright the head is it's really really strong and then basically that's, that's the fly I mean uh, it's a great colour combination it's a great style, it's shrimp style, you can't go far wrong with that it's a really good hook, it's a new Patriot uh, it's a flat, it's a hook as I say, it's going to be one of, it's going to be very popular, very strong looking. It's got a nice strong wire, nice shape, helps the profile of the fly when you're tying it. And all I have to do is finish off and I can come in here and varnish this practically in a minute or so. And it'll not interfere with the super glue and it'll set. And that really, at that you've finished your fly.